create another important uh, video from Ushendra's engineering tutorials. Um, having a knowledge and properties of any transformation if we come across like uh, we have Fourier transform, Z transform and uh, Laplace transform. So having a property will be very helpful. In this video I'm gonna help, I'm gonna explain one such important property. Uh, what according to definition, what is a Laplace transform? What will be given and what should be obtained? Like a uh, X of T will be given and we need to um, finally we have to reach to X of S that is a uh, time domain signal will be given and it's a uh, frequency domain signal should be obtained so in order to do this we need to obtain the Laplace transform this one so according to definition what is the Laplace transform of any given function uh, the given function x of t is multiplied with e raised to minus s t and uh, integrated with respect to t and so we have dt this is the definition for a Laplace transform of any given function x of t and uh, integration limits of integration it may be minus infinity to infinity for a bilateral um, function and uh, 0 to infinity for a unilateral function okay so this is the definition for a Laplace transform of a given function x, x of t so what will be what will be the Laplace transform of a function x of t minus t naught so what we what if we have a function a time what if we have a shift in the time and what will be the Laplace transform of this one is uh, what we will see in this video so according to the definition it's again uh, the given function x of uh, t minus t naught is the given function right is multiplied with e raised to minus st and uh, integrated from z minus infinity to infinity with respect to t so this is the definition guys watch carefully at the end we need to compare this equation with respect to like uh, this equation will be compared to some other equation uh, for a simplification x of t into e raised to minus s t integration with respect to t entire equation is uh, with respect to t that will be x okay so uh, we need to have some substitution for this one x of t minus t naught it will be very tedious some more uh, steps would come in to the picture if we simplify try to simplify this no the better idea is to obtain some substitution over here for supposing uh, assuming like a substitution substituting t minus uh, t naught uh, let it be some u i uh, u it's uh, me it's you uh, from this what we have is i need to have this t and i need to have this dt okay so this one from this it's a negative if that comes it will be t will be equal to u plus t naught it's a minus t naught over this side that goes it will be plus t naught and i need to have uh, t so be this being a constant uh, differentiating the entire equation it will be uh, dt will be equal to du so this is a important uh, a substitution we have and uh, plugging in these values over here this takes the form which is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity as it is and now x this t minus t naught is substituted with this u it's a uh, u over here okay this u, u and uh, e raised to minus of s as it is t we have this one t which is over here we have a uh, t t what do we have u plus t naught okay u plus t naught and uh, dt we have du dt we have du uh, d u this will be d u okay so this is what the transformation is going ahead integration minus infinity to infinity x of uh, u as it is uh, powers are added so base should basis should be multiplied like e raised to minus of s into u uh, into e raised to minus s t naught and uh, d u a careful watch across the equation what we have to conclude is we have u here we have u here and the entire equation is uh, integrated with respect to u and this has no way connection with this one it can come out it's uh, treated as a constant because uh, du we don't have any u over here that comes out so uh, taking out this term outside the integration we rise to minus s t naught okay integral minus infinity to infinity x of uh, t no sorry this one x of u i'm very sorry x of u e raised to minus s 
u this comes down this comes down and uh, d u this is the transformation guys watch carefully x of u e rise to minus s u d u similar to x of t e rise to minus s t d t which is equal to this one this is very much similar to this which is equal to this and so in this case in this entire equation can be substituted with this one so what we have is e rise to minus s t naught and this one is this can be substituted with x of s x of s this is the final deduction which is the laplace transform of a time shifted signal t naught what amount of shift it is t times t x of t minus t naught okay so this is the uh, final deduction what it means is the laplace transform of a shifted version is the laplace transform of a time shifted version of x of t is uh, the laplace transform of unshifted like tra laplace transform of x of t multiplied with e rise to minus s t naught the amount of shift okay so here you can see that the shift occurs at uh, time it's not the shift at s but the shift is obtained at t and so this property is known as a time shifting property of laplace transforms okay time shifting property a very important one so have a note so what if we have um, u of uh, t minus 3 and uh, yeah here yeah, a little more t minus 3 and uh, what if uh, the Laplace transform of this function is to be evaluated? Just now we have seen that uh, uh, Laplace transform of a time shifted signal. It's similar to x of uh, t minus t naught. And uh, the Laplace transform of this function is uh, what we have seen just now, e rise to minus s t naught and uh, uh, x of s. Okay and uh, u of t minus t u of t minus 3 it's very much similar to this is your t and this will be t naught in that case uh, the laplace transform of uh, u of t minus uh, 3 will be equal to right e rise to minus s t naught t naught is this this is the t naught like what you have is uh, e rise to minus uh, 3 s in the place of t naught i have written 3 t naught it's 3 uh, into u of s it's a step function and uh, its notation is u of s similar to x of t it's x of s u of t it's u of s and it's a step function and in my previous videos i have derived the expression for uh, laplace transform of a step function it is you can find the link in the description box please try right uh, like uh, e raised to minus 3 s and uh, u of s the Laplace transform of a step function it's uh, 1 upon s and this will be my final answer Laplace transform of uh, u of uh, t minus 3 the shifted time shifted step function to I told you it's a constant yeah it's a constant and the Laplace transform of u of t minus 3 will be equal to e rise to minus uh, 3s upon s similar to this expression this is an important problem an application of uh, uh, time shifting property of a Laplace transform functions. Thank you so much. If you find uh, this video to be useful, please subscribe my channel Shaindra's Engineering Tutorials. Like it, share it, and please support me. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you so much.